Well, hello my friends and welcome to the vlog. I did not vlog yesterday because I basically slept all day yesterday. I know, crazy, right? But I think, I think my body's like regulated back into itself, I think, I don't know. But this whole like not sleeping for two weeks, not good. We're moving forward, we're moving forward. But anyway, I am heading over to my parents' house because my aunt is leaving tomorrow and we're having some dinner together. And yes, I just took a shower. Don't judge, okay? Okay. So I've got Doyle's treat for his kennel time. So let's see if we can go find him. I think he's in his kennel. I don't really know though. Sometimes he thinks his kennel is the hallway and it's clearly not. <gasps> there he is. I can see him. Dun, da, da, da. Kennel time for the kennel boy. There you go, buddy. I will see you in a couple hours. Okay? Okay. Boop, boop. <laughs> anyway, okay. So Doyle is set with his kennel time, so he is good to go. And um, yes, I leave a light on for him. Yes, I do, I do. And for any of you wondering out there, he actually enjoys being in his kennel, and he is 11, 11 and a half, and he's been crate tearing since he was like eight weeks old, so. He doesn't mind being in there. Plus, I have a lot of stairs and he has seizures sometimes and I don't want him falling down the stairs and me not being there. A little problem there. All right, so I got my bag, I got my keys, and I am ready to G-O go. Oh, and by the way, haven't fixed my garage door opener yet. One of these days, I'll fix it. So I have a funny story for you guys. I just got gas at the gas station, but I did go in um, because I needed some Coca-Cola and I only had like one can left. So I figured, oh, I'm at the, I'm at the convenience store. I might as well get it. And it's like no, no real reason to go to the actual grocery store to buy like one thing, you know, even though it's a little bit more expensive here, but like whatever. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a Powerball ticket because I very rarely go into the, you know, gas station. So it's like, oh, I'm gonna get a Powerball ticket. Why not, you know, try it out. And uh, the Powerball's at $90 million. So I figured, why not just try my hand, right? The girl working the, um, the register, she's actually younger than I am. She's 20, she told me. But she's like, yeah, can I see your ID? And I was like, for what? <laughs> Just like, yeah, you look really young um, for the for the Powerball ticket. And I'm like, oh, okay. She's like, yeah, you look kind of young. I'm like, all right. I'm like, well. And then she scans my ID. She's like, oh, you're 37. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, the whole no wearing makeup. And I said, and I had a little. I said I just had a little pimple friend come out and play the other day. And she's like, oh well, that just happens. I'm like, I know. But um, I'm like, yeah, well, I'd rather have people say that I look younger than that I look really rough, that I'm like, look older than I really am or something. And she said, yeah, I got the same problem too. People think I'm like 15 or 16 and I'm like almost 21. I'm like, hey, it's a better, better position to be in that than the other way around because I know there's other people in the world that are in the other way around situations. So we were kind of commiserating over looking younger. But I just thought that was hilarious that I got carded because she thought I might have been younger than 18 because that's what the age limit is here to play the lottery. But now I'm gonna take my winning ticket home because you never know. Oh, and before all my Dave Ramsey people say, don't buy a lottery ticket, I maybe spend like 20 bucks a year on gambling. So I'm pretty sure it fits into my budget. I think it's okay. Because lottery ticket's $2 and I had $2 in cash on me. So I figured I'm gonna get one ticket and see what happens. <laughs> so yeah, but I don't go crazy with the lottery stuff or gambling at all. So I think it's gonna be all right. But okay, now I'm gonna go home and um, do some things and then I'll talk to you in a little bit. So I am back home. It's been a few hours since I checked in, but um, oh, Doyle's up here. Hi, Doyle. What are you doing, buddy? He doesn't know what he's doing. He's been standing up here whining. Hi, buddy boy. Hi, buddy boy. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna get ready for bed, but, ooh, harsh lighting. I have, in the past, 
we're going to the bathroom together. <laughs> I have in the past um, shown you guys kind of like my, I don't know, nighttime routine. And y'all seem to really like it, so I figured I'd show you again. But I'm gonna try and do a mask because I wanna get rid of this like chin situation. Yeah, and this like dark spot right here, you can't really see it very well on the camera right now, but that's the spot that came up in like, April, like end of April, right before I left for Go Wild. So it stays like dark on my skin for a long time. Thank you, acne gods. Thank you. So, yeah, but I am going to um, pick out some things and do a mask. Um, I got my washy cloth here, but I'll show you what I'm using and all that good stuff too. But yeah, I figured I would share because y'all seem to like that. And I haven't done one of these things in like a long time. And this is all like my masky things that I don't use that often and I need to like start using them, you know. It's like use what you have, Emily, use what you have. So let me prop you guys up and then I'll be right back. Whoa, all right, so here we go. I know this is like really harsh lighting, but this is like, this is all I got, guys, sorry. So, first things first, I gotta put the hair up. Oh man, I'm like really, really tired. I feel like I haven't like, completely, I don't know, just like recuperated maybe <laughs> from the whole traveling situation. I don't know. Maybe I have and I'm just like really lazy. I don't know, but whatever. So at the end of the night, I like to put my hair up like on the very tippy top of my head because the idea is I'm gonna sleep on the back of my head and I don't want any like bumps and lumps and things. So yeah, but that's what I do, and I do it like a that. First off, I'm gonna use a cleanser. I have been using this Purity cleanser from Philosophy. If I can find any of these things, I'll link them down below for you guys if you're interested. If you don't wanna spend this much money, the other thing I really like is the Cetaphil, I think that's how you say it, but I get the one, let's see, I'll show you. I'll show you which one I like the best. Um, this one for the, this is the Daily Facial Cleanser, the Normal Oily Skin. There is another one out there, but I don't like the way it feels with the Clarisonic. It's like, it's like too lotion-y, so it like coats the bristles really funny on the Clarisonic, and I do not like that. So, but this is actually what's in my shower right now, so when I run out of this, I'll probably just go back to this because I bought this quite a while ago, and to be honest, it's not like that amazing to buy more of this when it's like way more expensive than this guy right here. So if y'all have been watching my channel for a long time, you know I have super oily skin because, you know, breakouts and stuff. And um, yeah, I don't know, I just have really oily skin. So there's just like nothing I can do about it. And I have a Clarisonic, this is the Mia 3, I believe, before. Whoops. Um, I think I had the Mia 2 before and then it like broke. Oops. Um, it just like stopped charging. So um, even though I would have it hooked up, it would just stop charging, so I had to get a new one. So I got my Mia 3 here and I got the white. I know there's tons of different colors you can get. I went for the white because I am who I am. Yeah. So um, let me get cleansed and then I'll be right back. And this is me cleansing the skin. This thing works really, really well. Um, but pro tip, if you start using this thing, um, you will break out, just letting you know. And the reason you start breaking out is because this like Sonic, at least what I've read, okay? So don't like, don't quote me on this. But I'm pretty sure it's because the Sonic vibrations um, end up kind of releasing some of the acne that's like already kind of in your skin. And it just, you know, lets it come to the surface. So when I first started using this many, many years ago, the Clarisonic system, um, I broke out for a couple of weeks and nothing was bad about it. It was just like releasing all the like toxins in my face. Kind of like when you get a massage, it's kind of like, the idea. Let me get all the soap off of here and off my face and I'll be right back. All right, so now I am all clean in the face, not in the mind. Okay, 
what mask should we do? Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one. I've never used this one before, but it's the Basha, Bosha? I don't know how to say it. Um, it's the Charcoal Pore Pudding Intense Wash Off Treatment. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's like a black and white swirl. It's gonna be probably like a more of a gray color on my face. Um, I do have some black masks and things like that in there, which are more of the detoxifying, purifying things, but I figured, let's try this. I did this get this at Sephora quite a while ago, I think in like a little gift set of a bunch of the Basha products. I have a bunch of them here. So I have like a black mask, and then I also have, let's see, this is a like primer, so I don't know, it's just like in my little thing over here. But this tells me it's a two-part pore pudding powered by black and white charcoal. Minimizes the appearance of pores while balancing skin. To use, scoop onto face and blend together to distribute thin layer all over targeted areas as needed. Leave on for 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse off with warm water. So I will do that. And, oh, never opened this before. Oh, there's like a little sealer guy. Let's see. Definitely black and white and it's like, ah. <laughs> okay, well. There was just like a little bit of moisture on the top, so let's just do this together. And if, um, yeah. Ooh, fancy. Basically my whole face is oily and problematic, so I'm just gonna do my whole face. So let's speed this thing up. Ooh, I matched my shirt. <laughs> And the forehead, like up here, I know it's really hard to see. Maybe not in this light, because this light's really bad. I've got like all these little dots that have just been bubbling up to the surface ever since I got back from Alaska. I think it's because of traveling and whatnot, but it's just frustrating. So it's like if I'm not using my own water like normal and, you know, using hotel water, it's just like... Yeah, your skin kind of like freaks out when you go on vacation sometimes. So I'm all done with this bad boy. I'm gonna put my little topper back on to kind of keep the moisture inside. So I'm gonna leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes and I will be back in 15 to 20 minutes. So I will see y'all then. Okay, so I'm back and it's been 20 minutes. Um, it dried down a little bit, but it's still like a little bit like wet in some areas, but I think I just like piled it on a little bit thicker in some areas. So let me wash this off and then I'll go through what I normally do to go to bed. I gotta say this mask is like very like squeaky clean feeling, which I really enjoy. All right, so now my hair is looking really crazy, but that's all right. I don't do a mask every night, clearly, because if I did, I'd probably have like better skin, but whatever, or maybe worse. I have no idea how it works, but I try to do a mask like, at least a couple times a month. Ideally, I'd love to do a mask like at least once a week, like uh, like a clay mask, but I don't get to it, so well, whatever. So I'm gonna use this. Um, I have a little cotton pad here, but I'm using the Body Shop Tea Tree Toner, like this. However, I just went on vacation, and I don't know about you guys, but I like decant all my things into little bottles, and what I like to do is the toner, you actually have to, supposed to shake it up because there's like sediment that sits on the bottom. What I like to do is if I don't have another vacation planned in the next, I don't know, three or four months, I like to use up what's in the, you know, bottles because I don't want it to sit for too long and then like the product kind of turn, you know? So I'm using this up right now, but I do have enough toner in my, um, other little bottle there and then I just use these like really basic cotton rounds from I don't know I think I got these at Target maybe it's gonna be a really long video <laughs> oh goodness and then I tone my face just because you know oils I actually get like behind my ears I don't know about you guys I know this is like maybe like weird but every once in a while I'll get like a little not a lump but like you know, just like a little acne spot 
on the back of my ears or like back here. I think it's just because of like sweating and stuff. I don't know, but I don't like it. And even though I'm not wearing any eye makeup and haven't for a long time, I still kind of go over my eyelids and my eyebrows because they're freaking oily. So yeah, that's that. And let me pull out the rest of my stuff. I've got this also from the body shop. This is the Tea Tree Blemish, Blem Blemish Fade Night Lotion. So I usually take two pumps of this. It tends to cover all the things or cover my entire face. Um, usually if I'm wearing a tank top, I'll go like down my neck, but I'm wearing a t-shirt today, so that's all right. And then I like to get into um, my hairline with some of this stuff, especially this like blemish stuff, because every once in a while there's like a little thing, like there's a thing right here that'll like sprout up, like a little acne situation. And then tonight I'm gonna do a like moisturizing mask thing. It's like a leave-on mask. And this is from Carez. If I don't use this, um, I have a couple other things that I use, but I really do like this L'Oreal Revital Lift. It's like the, I think it's like the Age Perfect. It's a night cream, it's a little bit thicker. I do wear it during the day as well. Um, I don't know, I just really like it. And um, this is just more like super, super hydrating and it smells amazing. And I use it pretty sparingly because it's kind of spendy. But this is the, um, did I say? Carez Wild Rose. Um, it's a sleeping mask, sleeping facial. Brightening sleeping facial. And it does really brighten your skin quite a bit. Um, so I really like it. And then you wake up, well, it already smells like roses, but you wake up smelling like roses. That's kind of exciting. Every time I wear this, my dog always like wants to smell my face. Like, you smell like a different human. What's going on? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but even though I have really oily skin, this does not um, clog my pores. And I've been using um, this stuff for a few years. I mean, I've had this jar for not that long, a few months, but. I really, really like it, but definitely a nighttime thing because um, it stays kind of hydrating on your skin. And when you use the Clarisonic, I feel like like this kind of stuff that's super hydrating just kind of like sucks it in a little bit more. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. I'm not a beauty person. I just enjoy it sometimes. Um, all right, so that's all on my face, so we're good to go there. I'm going to use a wrinkle cream because I'm like 37. So it's time for wrinkle cream. Oh, this is the Rock Retinol Correction Deep Wrinkle Night Cream. Looks like this. I think I got this at like, I don't know, like Walgreens or CVS. Um, I tend to just put a little bit, like a little dab over here and then I kind of just like work it in. I'm sure the beauty community is cringing that I'm like dragging, but like literally it's just gliding on my skin. Um, and then I would like to put a little bit up here and then like right over here. Cause I feel like it's like my eyes get really kind of not wrinkly right here, but I don't know, prevention, right? Like this is basically like prevention. Like it's not gonna, I don't know. I don't feel like this is going to do anything to like the wrinkles I may or may are may or may not already have, but I don't know. I just like to do that. And then another place I like to put this, which is kind of a little I don't know. This is maybe unconventional. I'm not sure. Um, I like to put it right in the middle, like because I kind of go like that. I don't know. And then I like I don't know. I'm not an expert, but that's where I like to put it. I kind of just bring it down my nose. And I swear, like, every time I wear foundation, like, right in the center here, like, right about here, I know that I always get, oh, sorry, I don't mean to, like, flip the bird to you guys. <laughs> um, I always get this, like, line, and it drives me a little batty, so, whatever. Alright, so that's done. I also have this other thing from the dermatologist that I'm going to use. Um, I'm not supposed to use it when I am out in the sun, so obviously this is, like, an evening thing, but I don't know how to say this. 
Trentinoin cream. I don't know. It's supposed to help with, um, you know, acne and things like that. So literally you just take like a little itty bitty dab and um, this has helped me, but I'm not really good at using it, you guys. Like, I just, I don't know. I just don't use it as much as I should. And I have like a huge thing and I should use it more. Um, so really anywhere where I have something either popping up or something that looks like it might be popping up, I just put like the tiniest amount on my finger and just kind of daub it in. Um, sometimes I just do it a little bit around my hairline too because especially with the sweating and stuff, I feel like I get clogged pores. Do you guys get clogged pores around your hairline too? Yeah, so, but this chin situation is kind of where I'm focusing my, my efforts. And then my nose is always oily, so I like to put just a little bit right around um, my nose a little bit too. And I'm so sorry, this um, lighting is pretty horrendous. But my nose is actually doing pretty good right now. Um, sometimes I get like little flare-ups on the nose. But my nose is just really, oily. like my skin's oily and then my nose is just like really oily. Okay, so that's that. And then, for the most fantastical part, um, the stuff that makes me look even more cray cray than I already am. This stuff, which is like the most amazing stuff. This is the Mario Badescu, I think is how you say it, drying lotion. And this is the stuff that like dries out your pimples. It's so good. I take it, I actually took it on vacation with me when I was in Alaska and I used it as well. And um, my mom and aunt thought I looked a little weird, but you know what? It helps. So there is one little patch up here that I want to get. And it kind of like looks like Pepto-Bismol a little bit. <laughs> like that's kind of the color of it. But it really just like dries out whatever you got going on. And um, just like, I don't know, it just like calms it down overnight, I feel like. And then sometimes you need a couple of these. Yeah, I'm going to grab another one. And then all you do is you just put your little dauber in there and then you pull it right out. So you don't wanna like shake this or anything. There's like a sediment that lives down in the bottom of it that's like where all the good stuff is. So yeah, that's what you do. And I know I look crazy, but that's okay. And then I thought I had some other little things over here. Maybe I don't. I don't know, you guys can tell me. But the funny thing is, like, over here, it looks like I have, like, spots, but it's just, uh, that's hyperpigmentation, sun damage. So, nothing I can do about that. There's, like, another little one kind of creeping up over here. So, yeah, that's, that's gonna be it. All right, so now I am done in the bathroom. Um, yeah, that's how I really look at night when I go to sleep. Actually, I don't do this every night. I should do this every night because of my skin would probably be better than it is, but oh well, oh well. The things we do, guys, the things we do. Um, all right, but here's the little stinker buns. Oh, doobie. What's going on over here, little guy? <laughs> He's like become one with the bed. What's going on, bud? Oh yeah? Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. All right, so I, this is just like the funniest, I think I'm staring in the viewfinder going, Emily, you're gonna put this on the internet, you nuts. Um, but you know, this is real life, guys. This is my real life and my real vlog. So I just, I don't know, I just like to be as authentic as possible without too much TMI. Maybe this was too much TMI, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But I think Doyle and I are going to go to a bed now. Normally um, that like sleeping facial thing takes a couple of minutes to dry down just a little bit. And then this stuff, like the Pepto-Bismol looking stuff, um, it takes a couple minutes to dry down as well. Ah, all right, nose itches. Okay, but we are gonna go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. They will be more 
fun vlogs tomorrow. I'm gonna do some worky things and yeah, adventure out probably. Maybe not, I don't know. I think I'll adventure out, but you never know. I got a full tank of gas now because I went to the gas station, so. Emily's got big plans. <laughs> so, we're gonna go. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Uh, 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 uh,